Hey friends, what's going on? I'm back with another video. Today I am going to be pruning our fruit trees. Out here in the second orchard, uh, I wanted to make sure that I brought you along on this, this like journey a little bit because you have been here since the beginning um, of the installation of these fruit trees. So I wanted to just give you guys an understanding of what I do and what I have learned really to keep these trees in good standing um, so that they can actually produce the produce that we want. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, we have our Dixieland peach tree. This was purchased as a bare root originally. And if you can go back into what, I can't remember the title of the video, but uh, we actually pear, planted this tree last year and it was a bare root. Uh, so basically what that looks like, it was only probably about this tall and it, it didn't have any um, scaffolding branches or anything and definitely no foliage of, at, at all. So uh, this is what it came out to look like um, after a while. And um, as you can see here, we have some damage that recently occurred actually uh this wasn't this wasn't uh this this hadn't been like this this entire time but i have some broken branches that are right here and they are actually a part of my scaffolding um you know shape of the tree and now so what i'm going to do here and it's going to look very heinous actually but uh this is what helps the tree grow back even this is even biblical it says in the bible that even the lord prunes so that we can bear much fruit and that's pretty much what i'm doing here uh this this tree grew at such an amazing rate and produced such a, a, a good um yield that i wanted to produce much more and I, and a part of that is keeping keeping its shape and um keeping uh by keeping its shape you have to prune um so that it can bear much more fruit than what it has and you can train it in the way it should go. Oh, that's biblical too. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and let go of all of these little bitty things here, these little bitty branches. And basically I'm using my pruners and I am just cutting off these items. I'm cutting them off at an angle. And there's no real science, you know, um, there is a such thing as pruning anxiety that people get. Uh, but basically what you're doing is you're just trying to create more airflow for your trees. Um, and and that's, that's the main goal, that's the main objective. Now, as you can see right here, I have this broken branch. So what I'm looking, thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it right where it's coming off right where it's broke just a little bit under actually I'm going to cut it right where it's coming off and because yeah this this broken this this would actually create damage this damage will actually bring in disease so I don't want to do that to this tree I really want it to grow healthy and in order to keep it in a good growing shape, you want to kind of create like um, an open palm for a peach tree. There's other trees that you don't necessarily need that exact shape, but for a peach tree, it is a stone fruit. You do want to keep that in mind. So I'm going to see if I can get my, I can get my pruners around there, but I'm going to pull out my rockers instead because I don't want to put a strain on my own wrist. And it looks like I'm going to have to cut. Right there. And it looks like there was already some things going on there with it. So yeah, I'm glad I was able to go ahead and cut that off right there just so we can get get some airflow going on and now I'm just gonna finish off 
my cutting, cutting these small items out. I'm really just preparing for our next growing season while it is going into dormancy. This is giving it a good, a good um, shaping so that while it's going into dormancy and those roots are growing deeper and it's establishing itself even more into the land that, um, actually, I know. Ah! It's like when you see that, <laughs> I know for myself, I'm always like, eh, I'm sorry, but I have to. Um, Plus, I don't want this tree to get taller, too tall, to the point where um, it can't sustain its strength. Because peaches are heavy. And so I don't want this tree to get to a point where, like you guys have seen in the other branches, where it doesn't have enough um, girth to sustain the fruit that's growing on it, the strength to sustain it. So yeah, that concludes the one for my peach tree. I know it looks so naked, doesn't look nothing like it did <laughs> when we first came up on it, but this type of work is gonna do the job. Well, it's not like we were gonna look for any peaches to be ate um, during the fall and winter months. So this is fine. We don't eat. We try our best not to eat out of season. But when we, when the season is appropriate, we will have some fruit. All right, guys. I wanted to uh, also show you something that is very important when you're dealing with a peach tree. Um, I've moved over to our second peach tree right here. It is also very young, probably within a year or two. And um, it, it's, there's a learning lesson here that was not on our other peach tree that we just gave a good shaping to. Um, right now I'm in the middle of about to shape this one, but there was something that I wanted to mention. When you're looking to learn how and where your fruit will grow on a peach tree, there's two things to look for. Uh, one is the color of the stem or the branch that we want to say, not stem, branch. You see here, there are red. These are red. Okay. That is where your fruit is going to come from, from that red uh, branch. And the other thing to look for are the buds. And hopefully the camera is picking this up. But if I can lean in, I don't want to damage my tree. You can see actual buds here. Okay, now the main way to recognize where you'll get leaves and um, fruit is by checking out the buds. If the bud is just like a little point, then that's just a leaf, okay? If there is like a little roundness and then there's two pointed areas, then that is where fruit will come. So I'm gonna sh see if I can come in here so you can see. Well, let me see. As you see here, there's lots of those pointed things, right? We got a lot of points. It's not something that has a, like a little combo section, just lots of little points, right? That's an area that is just gonna be leaves. I'm cutting those off. I'm also cutting these off. I know these are red, but this one also is red too. What's important to remember is that your peaches are always gonna be a lot heavier than normal uh, fruits. Peaches and apples, they're very heavy. And you wanna have a branch, as I shared earlier, you wanna have a branch that can sustain the strength and the weight. Uh, you wanna have a branch that has enough strength to sustain the weight, that's what I mean, um, of your fruit. So what I'm doing here is though I see red fruit, I mean red branches, and even right here, I see that combo. I'm gonna have to cut this one off. Why? Because it will not sustain 
fruit. It cannot hold the weight of peaches growing. But the ones that I am going to keep, the areas that I am going to keep, I'm going to keep this one because it has way more combos. If you can see, it's not just pointies, like, like pointy shapes that are on pointy bubs. There are literally a whole bunch of combo looking buds here. So I'm cutting that out. I'm cutting this one out. I'm cutting this one out. Cutting this one out. I'm getting rid of those ones that will not give me the fruit, but just foliage. I want fruit and foliage. Um, and not for them, I was saying low power there. But, um, but I want the tree also to be healthy. So I wanted to just point that out to you just in case you are you know, using this video as a tutorial, like I have did with so many other YouTubers. Um, you can also find this type of lesson in um, books, but I just wanted to show that to you just in case you needed to know that information. Well guys, that's it for right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you subscribe if you like videos like this. And if you like this video, um, also, it'll be great to put a thumbs up. All right, y'all. So long.